Hi, um, today I'm gonna tell you my story with vitamin C. It's a long story, not too many happy things. There are some unhappy chapters, but there is a happy ending too to this story. It started with Clay's vitamin C serum. I loved it. I loved it a lot. I used so many bottles of this serum. It was like a match made in heaven. It was good, all good in the beginning. My skin was glowing. I loved the texture of the serum. Initially, it felt kind of oily, but later it was all hydrating. I was happy with it and I thought I found my vitamin C soulmate, but then my skin started feeling dry. I was so in love with that vitamin C serum that I refused to believe it was doing bad to my skin. Long months of denial, I, I had to face it. It was that vitamin C serum that was drying my skin. I was having like rashes now and then. When I stopped using that serum, my skin started feeling better. I spoke about it here. This video is less dramatic than this one. So, do I have lipstick on my teeth and you're not telling me because you want to laugh? Do I? Okay, sorry. I was just being skeptical because you know that hookah I got from the vitamin C, clears vitamin C because I thought it would work for me but it didn't so I am, I was sad because it had 5% ascorbic acid which is great. I suspect the essential oils in the formula, I think this clears vitamin C serum it has um, orange oil, orange essential oil maybe that was the thing that was drying out my skin. Who knows? And then I tried Pyroto Vitamin C Serum. It has 10% ascorbic acid and the same thing. Initially it was all great, but later uh, my skin was breaking out now and then. And then when I stopped using that serum, uh, my skin felt better. And that serum actually oxidizes quite quickly in like two months. And I kept it in the refrigerator, still it was oxidizing. So I stopped using that. And then I tried Clinique Vitamin C Serum. It was the most expensive vitamin C serum I ever tried. You have to use it up in seven days. And oh god, my energy is so low for this. Because when I think about my experience, I just feel bad. So I'm so sorry. Maybe I'm, I should. Didn't work out this vitamin C serum for me. It was so expensive. I don't know what went wrong it had 10% ascorbic acid I used it the way they instructed me I used it at night it was like hit at fast use my skin started breaking out and I have no idea because it has good ingredients and I had such high hopes because money and my skin when the ingredients are right the formulation is okay and price is high still why it doesn't work out like everything is all right so it should work out but no it didn't it didn't that clinic one even didn't work for me and i know it's gonna be like it's already so heavy and negative but more negativity is coming don't you worry because then i tried minimalist vitamin c serum and you know the story because I spoke about it here. Didn't work out for my skin. This moment you might be going, you might be leaving this video because like, Shamapti, what you are doing? Everything you tried didn't work out. Yeah, this is my life. Actually, it's not only the vitamin C. It's like, it happened when I was dating like boys. If I tell about my dating history, you know, it's, it's sadder than this. But yes, I had to try a lot, like vitamin C, I'm not talking about boys, like serums and all, before I found my holy grail. So yeah, this uh, minimalist vitamin C serum even didn't work for me. It even didn't have the ascorbic acid, it had vitamin C derivative, which is supposed to be more gentle. So next, next I found this overdermis vitamin C serum, actually they sent it to me. I love their niacinamide serum, their retinol serum is awesome, but their vitamin C serum, it was yellow. 
and I do not trust vitamin C serums that are yellow. Call me, call me crazy. I have trust issues. I don't. I just don't trust vitamin C serums that look yellow. So no, I'm not going to take a chance. I thought to myself and I didn't use that and I have no regrets. I asked the brand, they said it's supposed to be uh, clear or cloudy, whatever that is. Uh, then I asked why the color is yellow for my serum. They had some answer. To be very honest, whatever the answer was, I was not convinced to use it for my skin, so I didn't. The ingredients looked great, but... And then, now the happy part is coming. Then I tried Deconstruct Vitamin C Serum. Finally, I have Vitamin C Serum that works for me. I was so happy. No, 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 no. Before Deconstruct, I tried Formula RX uh, Vitamin C Serum. How can I forget this? So ungrateful of me, yeah. That one was awesome. It has ethyl ascorbic acid, which is a Vitamin C derivative. And it also has Arbutin. So this serum can be very good for dark spots and this serum made my skin happy and my skin was glowing and I loved it. So this was the first vitamin C serum that worked for me after a long time and I was so happy. Like I was blaming myself that maybe vitamin C is not for my skin, something like that. But it was not the case. The thing was, I was not like getting the right formulation for my skin. So yeah, there is a perfect vitamin C serum, I think for everyone, unless you are allergic to this vitamin C. And yeah, this Formula RX thing, it worked really well for me. I was really happy. Then I tried Deconstruct, which even worked very well. I prefer the Deconstruct uh, vitamin C serum over Formula X. Uh, RX, sorry. Uh, deconstructs vitamin C serum. It has vitamin C derivative. It is a no-nonsense vitamin C serum. It gives this nice glow and all. And yeah, I enjoyed using it a lot, a lot. So then I got some confidence like I can go ahead, I can try uh, different serums. Maybe there is something that is better than this. And I was everywhere nike amazon sublime life beauty one i was looking for a better vitamin c for my skin then i found chemist at play vitamin c serum i i had this confidence um i would say i became overconfident um with my one or two good experiences and i picked 20 percent vitamin c uh, serum it has vitamin c derivative dough it didn't work for me gave me white heads and all so and it has this very citrus kind of a scent to it and there are complaints like this particular vitamin c serum it gets oxidized quite early but for me thankfully it didn't happen because i just used it for like four or five times so it's in my refrigerator for a long time but it has not turned yellow yet um, it has this cloudy kind of texture, but it has this strong citrus kind of a scent to it. And then I tried plum. Plum vitamin C, which I have been trying out these days and I really like it. It is simple, uh, though it has 15% vitamin C uh, derivative. So if you have like super sensitive skin, it might not work for you. But for me, it's working. My skin is glowing. Hello. Uh, so yeah, I like it. I like it so far and okay another serum that i tried was from pure bubbles it has this five percent vitamin c derivative so then i forgot about it oh uh, but it's nice if you are a beginner or you want antioxidant rich serum that is uh, like gentle and you don't want to risk skin irritation you can try this one it has an azelic acid derivative for beginner or someone who who wants mild uh, formulation it can be good for them but for me right now um, my skin is pretty much like experienced it can take 10% uh, vitamin C derivative so I don't think I have to use this serum now but yeah I enjoyed using it it has this milky texture and 
yeah this is strange some days you know you find something better then you forget the other things that worked for you in the past it happened with me like when i met onirban i forgot all the men um i dated for a while those things come back like as lessons and i really hope you find this to be helpful and if you don't find this to be helpful then let me know i'm going to do something about it i'm going to make a post about it somewhere here on instagram i'm going to do that and i'm still looking for a like greater vitamin c that is gonna be like you know something mind blowing i would say niacinamide based serums they work better for me than vitamin c till date but i'm hopeful i'm hopeful because i heard like so much about vitamin c like it is life changing skin changing uh, this and that so yeah i'm looking for like something like mind blowing if i find something like that i'll let you know uh, but yeah now i have few the deconstruct vitamin c uh, formula rx a plum and this uh, pure bubbles we don't say this four things are quite nice quite nice so that's all for now i hope you found this i really hope you found this to be helpful all the babbling and all i'm like this and there's nothing much i can do about it so that's all for now see you very soon bye bye